That's a two for you. Go away. Restart it. It'll be zero. There we go. That's more like it. Zero viewers. That's what I'm supposed to be at. It's my goal in life to have zero viewers. All right, the little train. Nice not to have any responsibility. Of experience as an HR professional, I had reached the ceiling. So I enrolled in UGC. UGC removes every barrier. Everyone treated me like the person with individual needs and met me where I was. I would not be the person that I am today. The mother, the business owner, had it not been for the partnership with the UGC. We asked many customers to tell us what they want most. What do we got? I said, shut up, TV. So this is three pounds, so I need to make three one-pound packages. I'm going to freeze that burger because I don't know how it'll go bad. You know how that shit is. Meat that says reduced on it. Fuck it, shit. One day later, it'll be brown and useless. Thanks for selling me your shit that's already been sitting on the shelf for a week and a half. Freezer burn on it right there. We see what they did to us. So they got a freezer burn mark on it. So I 
turn it brown down there. Something about like this, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty good. One more ounce, huh?
My goofy son. I'm riding the little train that is going down the tracks to the junkyard. Oh, get about your cares, it is time to relax at the junkyard. Lots of cursing, you bet. Even more when you get to the junkyard. Dan's old junkyard. There's a cool man cave called the Big White Barn at the junkyard. He is run by Dan, come and be his guest at the junkyard. There's old Dan, he's moving kinda slow at the junkyard. Dan's old junkyard. Woo hoo! Merry Christmas! Good morning, or afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, brother. It's that time again. Bacon time. Bacon and uh, potatoes. Hasher Brown. Much else going on, it's pretty boring. I probably have to go over to the rental house there right? because the tenant says, Ooh, I was gone all weekend and I came home and the screen door is broken. Like, so you didn't close the screen door properly, it blew around, broke, and that's my fault, and now I have to pay for it. That's such bullshit. You don't close the screen properly and it blows and breaks. Sounds like it's your fault. But they want to just say, oh, well, we didn't do it. It's an act of God, which means Dan's got to pay for it, or Frankie's got to pay for it, and I have to do the work. So yay, thanks for that. Small miracle there. I guess she figured since we didn't uh, normally Frankie would give her like a hundred bucks off her rent for December, so she'd you know be able to buy Christmas gifts for the kids. But I guess she figured that wasn't enough. Now we got to fix her screen door too. I'll go over there and take the damn screen door off. That's what I'll do. Then you won't have one. I think that's what I'll do. I just take the day there. There's no rule says I gotta have a screen door. And they've I, they've broken it down, busted it up pretty good since it's been there. So just take the fucking thing down. That's an idea. That's an idea. Just take it down. 
What do you think of that? My mean toga. My mean old landlord. Break my screen door, I'm gonna take it away. You won't have one lost. See how you like living without a screen door. Right now in the winter, it really don't matter. The nice thing about the screen door is it has a little extra layer of air insulation from the front door, but she's got a brand new door on there that's sealed up really good, so she'll be all right without it. I just installed that brand new door this summer. That'll be fine. Well, people in America, you like to be able to open the inside door and then leave the screen door open with, and you can have a, a screen so fresh air comes in in the summertime. So I might fix it by the summertime or something, but now it's winter time. Yeah. Fuck it. All right. Well, it's good to see you. Good to be seen. That's basically what it works like. Good to be seen. Man, this bacon has a lot of grease. Holy moly. I'd like to try to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to take, play with Frankie's coffee pot. I bought her a, a stovetop espresso maker. You're supposed to run water through it once and then make coffee three times and throw the coffee away. You're not supposed to drink the first three times. So here it is right here. She's supposed to, this is what it looks like right here. Pretty cool, huh? Thinking about running another load through it. I want to make it. I haven't tried none yet. <coughs> I want some. I want some of that stovetop espresso. I ain't had it yet because I've been waiting for Frankie to do it. It's an Italian thing. It doesn't make true espresso, but it makes it very, very strong coffee. Yeah, I really want some. And then Frankie got some cream and uh, caramel, so I can make a, like a caramel macchiato. That's what I really want, but I haven't had it yet because I've been waiting on her to do it. And that's all I got. I got her socks, the coffee maker, and I did that sign for her, which I don't think she likes it. I think she's kind of just like, yeah, that's nice, Dan. Thank you. She doesn't really like the sign. So. Dan, yeah, how's that working? Whew. What did you get that was, what was your big Christmas thing? Did you get anything you really wanted? I really, like I said, I got tires for my truck, which that's amazing right there. Truck tires. And I got a pair of shoes. And my wife's never ending love and stuff. She's a great girl. Oh yeah, that's true too. Yeah, you got that PlayStation here. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, I got my tires a, a month or two ago, but the truck needed them. So that's a good thing. I couldn't afford them. This year's been kind of slow for me. I ain't got shit on Twitch as far as money. I did much better last year. This year I ain't got shit on Twitch, man. I don't know what it is. I'm, I thought normally you get better, but I guess not. I'm getting worse. I'm getting less and less money, <laughs> less and less viewers. But whatever. Cause I just not a con. I don't know, man. What I'm doing wrong. 
I don't understand how them it works for some of y'all who just sit there at the computer and play games and people flock to you. And the dumber and stupider it is, it seems the more people watch it. Like that one guy with his pay money wubby, he just acts like an idiot and he expects people to pay him and they do, they pay him millions of dollars a year. He just sits there and is stupid and laughs at people. It's like, what the fuck, man? How the hell do you manage that? I don't get it. His name literally says pay money, wubby. Yeah. It's like, what? I don't get it. This batch of bacon seems to burn black faster than other batches I've had, which is weird. I don't understand that. Now, whatever the name that XQC character, he's a total fucking knob. He's an idiot, and he's the biggest streamer on fucking Twitch. I don't get it. He is a total fucking idiot. He barely has brains. His IQ is probably about 37. I don't get it. But there I go. That's why my wife, my wife says, that's why I don't do good on Twitch. Because I'm, cause I'm uh, jealous and I few and I am uh, so I'm jealous of other people that's why I don't make money she's probably right I'm supposed to be good and kind always and be chipper and exciting and ha 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 happy happy all the time and that's how you get people I guess me, I just sit there and play a game and stare at, don't even look at the camera. So. I don't know. I did a little bit better when I used to just sit in the garage and get drunk and dance. See, people want me, an old man, see an old man getting drunk and make a fool of himself. When I was acting like a fucking trained monkey. I did much better. Man. How do we got so many coffee cups in here? Yeah, I've got to make a, a dishes. Some soapy water to clean my dishes. Damn, cups to wash. What's up, Howie's? How you doing? I burnt the fuck out of the bacon just in two seconds trying to wash a fucking spatula. The bacon's fucking burnt. Man, how you doing, Howie's? I hope your bacon's not burnt, but mine's just fucking black as fucking coal. 
I didn't even, I turned the damn thing down low, turned around to wash the spatula. And now the bacon's burnt to a crisp. Son of a bitch. Wasn't even that long. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like I went, turned around, I took the pan and low, turned around to clean my spatula because, of course, it wasn't clean. Well, at least the hash browns look pretty good. <laughs> oh well. What kind of eggs are you making today? Actually, I always try to do the omelet mostly, I guess. Damn it. Well, one good thing is you can take the burnt bacon and you chop it up and you cook it in the eggs, that'll soften it up. If your eggs are burnt, I don't know what you can do about that. Oh no, not the wooden spatula. <laughs> not the wooden spatula, bro. I know I love mine. Mine is old. Mine, mine used to be like this long. <laughs> And I wore it down about an inch and a half off of it. It used to be huge. Oh, bummer, bro. Sorry to hear that. I had another one that was a slotted spatula, and it broke the other day, a couple months ago. Some green pepper. I hope you had a good holiday season. Did you get everything you asked Santa for? I got a set of tires for my truck and a pair of shoes. So, yeehaw! That's some of the best I can get. Oh, yeah. I guess, uh, I don't know what's the best kind of wood to use for that. This one I got is bamboo, I think. Bamboo is a good wood. Yeah, certain kinds of woods are better for uh, making that stuff. I don't know exactly. I'm not a good a big time wood carver guy. So what, did it just break or did you burn it? <laughs> did you set it on fire? Fire, fire. Good morning, good morning to you. Plates and a bowl. 
tighten this down a little bit. Let's see what happens. Probably Google telling me. You have memories to look back on. I don't know what that notification is. What's happening? What's going on? Come on, phone. I'm trying to look at what's on my phone. But I gotta print some stuff, I guess. My wife wants me to print some stuff. One and six a box. One egg. Uh, do it egg. Today egg. Una do it today. Una do it today. Nine thirty. something going on here. Sorry about that, I had to print some documents from my wife. Two. We are making hash browns, omelets, uh, bacon, and uh, that's about it. The, uh, the omelets will be stuffed with uh, bacon, tomato, onion, green pepper, cheese, and mushrooms if you so desire. Oh, and spinach, don't forget the spinach. Yeah, well, that's not very funny. Are you trying to be funny? I cook it no much, sorry. Hey, if you think it's funny, that's it. I don't think it's funny. You can you you can have all your you can uh, see that way. <laughs> I've never seen meth cooked, I wouldn't know. Oh man, I gotta put my eggs over here. Eggs, I'm trying to do some other things. I did kind of burn the bacon, so I mean I guess that could be it. I don't know. Is that it? <laughs> what are you doing, Lixa? I'm going to put some uh, turmeric in there, black pepper. 
Garley. Welcome to the junkyard. It gets worse here every day. I gotta get some spinach out. You like spinach? I love spinach. There's nothing really healthy about it. Aw, oh, man. And, you know, my holiday was what it was, and, you know, my kids aren't around no more. They all growed up, so, you know. Yeah, you know how it is. The thing is about the holiday, you gotta try to keep that cheer up all around the year, you know what I mean? I feel you. A lot of people do a lot of things on the holidays, and I'm like, oh, that's great, you have beautiful trees and lots of gifts, but we didn't really do that. Just keeping up with life in general has been, uh, been our gift this year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just keeping up and not getting our heads underwater, you know? Kind of, yeah, mostly. There's a, well, there's some bacon in it. It's got onion, spinach, green pepper, tomato, and bacon, and cheese. And my wife likes mushrooms in them, so. So yeah, they're mostly vegetables. But it does have bacon in it. Cooking up some meth in here. Meth in here. Well, that's not really public information. I play a cowboy in movies. People don't discuss that. This is America, you know. I do live in America. Are you that guy? Are you that guy? Learn that. Eh? Every gun is always loaded. That's your best lesson. Never point them at someone you don't intend to shoot. There's your best rules. There's classes for that. I'm sure you can find one. I think the potatoes are done. Revolver type of guy, yeah, yeah. Well, revolvers are good because they don't leave casings behind at the scene of the crime. What do I need? Uh, cheese and mushroom. Mushroom! I got some cheese in here. Yes, cheese! Provolone cheese. Nice. I love provolone cheese. S-M-A-R-T. That's how that works. Got some mushrooms for this omelet. Close that up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cheese is the shit. And I've got some smoked provolone cheese. So that's really good. And I'm slicing up some mushrooms. My wife loves mush. Mushrooms are good for supposedly uh, thyroid. Your thyroid it's right here. Supposedly lots of good stuff in mushrooms. I'm not big on mushrooms though. They're okay. I like if I don't have mushrooms, I like them to are chopped up really fine, you know. I don't like big pieces of mushrooms. I don't know. I think it's something about uh I the only thing I ever read was you can't use weapons in a threatening manner. You know what I mean? I don't really see many people with guns here on uh, Twitch. And normally I used to show guns and knives on stream years back, but some people told me, that's against TOS, so uh, I fucking stopped doing it, which I really don't care, I mean, it's not a big deal to me, I might do something on YouTube with it one day, but I, ain't, I don't really care, it's not important, da, 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 da. eh, well, eh, yeah, if you don't like something, you can always turn it off, but rather than just change the channel, they'd rather make it so, you know, nobody can do it. So that is kind of shitty.
but whatever. That's the country it is nowadays, ain't it? Do, 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 do. Uh oh, I'm about to sing a song, which is a song that's already made, but I changed the words, so you're warning, I'm warning. Yeah, it's true. It's a good principle, but uh, it ain't what it's all cracked up to be. <laughs> Petty Coat Junction. This is called Dan's Old Junkyard. Here we go. Ride the little train that is going down the tracks to the junkyard. Forget about your cares. It is time to relax at the junkyard. Lots of cursing, you bet. Even more when you get to the junkyard. Dan's Old Junkyard. There's a cool man cave called the Big White Barn at the junkyard. It's run by Dan, come and be his guest at the junkyard. His runs old Dan, he's moving kind of slow at the junkyard. Red milk? Oh, like the red top milk, you mean? The red cap? I guess it's full fat milk, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Red cap here has all the fat in it. And of course, of course, it's pasteurized, homogenized, uh, vitamin D. You know, eight grams of fat. Blah blah blah. They add vitamin D three to it. Blue cap. The blue milk is the skim milk, and uh, I think yellow is fat-free. I don't know, it's a type of... D3 is the vitamin they put in it. I don't know exactly. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Blue is full fat, huh? That's interesting. Yeah. There's Omelette, and then one, two, three, four, ta-da, and the bacon's a little burnt, but I'll put this lid on it for about 10 minutes, and then the bacon will soften right back up. Yeah, that bacon is weird. It keeps burning on me. I don't get it. Really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's a spite Europe. More oil. I try to get less oil, honestly, because it'd be bad for my cholesterol. You think America... I don't know. America is fucked by China and all the countries. They're all over here buying up all our land. And the right kind of oil, maybe. I don't know. I did put a... Every country in the world is over here. Fucking America right now, pretty much. China's buying us up. The Saudi Arabia is buying all our shit. Well, there was a lot of grease in it, but hey, you know. I want to try some different ways to cook bacon. How is this? Everybody says ba uh, the damn uh, air fryer is good for bacon. I haven't tried that yet. I don't have an air fryer, so. Gotta get the dog's food going. Well, the dogs got some food. They didn't eat much last night. I put some cheese and bacon on the dog food. Fire. Yeah. Fire's good. Communist invention? What's that? America? <laughs> or oil? <laughs> Yeah, America's a mess. I don't even know anymore. I just... 
enjoy living. Oh, air fryer is a kind music menu. <laughs> Let me get a little, put a little cheese on this dog food, and then the dogs are coming running. Yeah. Now America is here, it's just uh, the news and the media and everybody would have you believe that freedom is not, is dead, but uh, oh, this time it's, uh, this is extra aged Parmesan. I'm giving it to my dogs. What a guy, huh? I'm having provolone on my eggs. Here's the cheese, baby dog. Come and get it. Come and get it. Whoa. Burning the shit out of my pan, fucking around. Well, maybe not. It's probably, I hear it might be bad for him. <laughs> Just a little bit of bacon and a, a few strips of cheese in there. You know what I mean. I like to take care of the dog, you know. I would say you don't live real long if you're a dog, so you might as well eat good while you're on Earth, right? Dogs live a short time, you know. I don't try to spoil them too much because I don't want to ruin their health, you know what I mean? Because any good doctor will tell you, don't give your dogs any people food. It's bad for them, you know. You good girls. You good girls. How's that with a puppy dog? So you live in Europe or Russia? I guess. Middle of America, hiding out from the Democrats. <laughs> Stay away from me, Democrats. I don't need none of your TV shows and crap. They run all the TV shows and everything. It's ridiculous. I don't want to talk politics too much on here, but. Not like I would ruin my channel. I don't have much views any fucking way. I appreciate you stopping by. Yes, cowies, right? Okay, shut that pan off. I'm gonna tell my wife it's ready when she's ready. It's ready whenever you want it. You're the puppy dogs. You're good girls. After breakfast, I may have to run over. My rental house has a... <laughs> You're a communist? All right. Good for you, brother. Honestly, I don't understand exactly all, all that means. I'm not a... Good political guy. You just eat it, right? Fuck it, right? Chicken Bianca pizza. Well, I try to make it taste good. <laughs> it doesn't always work. After uh, breakfast, I might have to run and my, I have a rental house. And the screen door is broke, so. I think I'm just gonna take the screen door off for the rest of this season and maybe fix it in the springtime. If it's just a broken glass or something, I'll take it out. I don't have no idea. Nah, it's fun, it's good. He just eats it, don't taste it. Ain't that the thing in Russia or something? Maybe they, in Russia, food eats you or something like that, whatever. In Russia, you don't eat food, taste food, you eat it. Something like that.
I don't eat food, I taste it. Or something, I don't taste it, whatever. <laughs> I fucked it all up already. Uh, don't get rushed up, food tastes you. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, I'm gonna sit down, uh, get my uh, medicine. Well, not medicine, I got some uh, fish oil I take. Cause the doctor says it's good for you, or my wife is my, says it's good for me. Cause I had a little bit high of bad cholesterol, not real bad. Then let's go to the dining room. Uh, but to answer you, Lixa, yes, I like freedom. I have freedom pills, all for everyone. Freedom pills. Oh, yeah, good doggies ate their dinner. And they have, uh, then they sit by me and, uh, they nibble my potatoes. Where's my glasses? I think I need my glasses so I can see TV. I want to show my thingy. There we go. I like to watch Petticoat Junction. Have you ever watched it? It's a great show. Where the hell is my coffee? I think my coffee's empty. I need some more coffee. Damn it. There's a. He's like, you like that Ramstein song? America, America, la 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 la, la America. I don't know the words. I just know they say America. Get a little bit of sugar and milk in my coffee because I'm a not a. I'm a. A coffee and milk guy. Some people don't like that. So blue milk is fat, low fat, and what color is the full fat milk? Oh, it's it's, it's red. I don't know. Boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, boop. Puppy dogs. They're good people. You're good puppies. Oh man. And they're sitting right there next to me. He's like, give me potatoes, Dad. I usually give him some of my hash browns. Uh, I smoke it. A girl wants to be part of the men's club, so she's in the barber shop, and all the men are smoking big fat cigars. They chase her out. I'm trying to give her a cigar. So how's that Putin thing working out over there? <laughs> I imagine it's probably about the same thing as here in America. It's a 50-50 thing right now. Half the country likes that Biden bastard, and half the country wants him don't like him. She wants the works.
I like in Russia where grandmas are carrying AK 47s on the bus to go shopping. I don't like it. I mean, that's kind of sad, but I'm glad it is. At least I've seen pictures of that. Is that true? <laughs> I've seen pictures of grandmas going shopping with an AK 47 strapped on their back. I'd like an AK-47, but they're expensive now. Back when I was a kid, you could buy them for a couple hundred dollars. Now they went $1,000, $2,000 for them. Crazy. Well, I don't know if I'm going to... I guess i got to go check out the damn... door. See how badly broken it is. Yes, puppy dogs. Puppy dogs begging for potatoes right now. Give me more potatoes, Dad. Hmm. Mm, yummy, yummy. I eat all my vegetables in the morning with my eggs. Yeah, I know I had at least one good meal a day. Just get it out of the way. You know what I mean? Mm. Me? I'm not. <laughs> no, I am American. Whatever that means. No problem. I was asking uh, if y'all are. I think he, I don't know where he is. So I know many Americans like socialism or communism. The thing about America, we got all kinds of people here. People who believe in all different stuff. And we all try to live together. And it don't always work very good. No, you don't, don't apologize. <laughs> You're probably right about that. A lot of the kids nowadays have very strange ideas to me. younger generation is uh, very interesting because they've grown up under a whole new uh, yeah, they grow up on the internet seeing things on the internet and, and they believe it you know I know young kids nowadays that uh, that uh I think socialism is the way to go. 
Well, I don't know if anger is a good response, but I think you know what you're saying. Yeah, I can understand that, I guess. They haven't lived it, you know. If you haven't lived through it, you just don't have the right to speak about it, I guess. These <laughs> maybe not intelligently, or they just, you know, they're just par they're just a parrot. They re they see something and repeat what they have seen or heard, right? I just want. I'm a very basic person. I would love to have a peace on earth and goodwill towards men, but it's not that simple, unfortunately. But it should be. You know, I feel that the world is a big place with a, a lot of stuff, and there should be enough for everyone. So I guess that's a socialistic, communistic attitude, I guess. There should be enough for everyone. That's how I feel about the world. It does, it, capitalism's good, in a way. I mean, every day there's people that are broke. Uh, well, now the world's changing. All the new kids are trying to make a fortune on TikTok, you know. It's all social media driven, you know. Ooh, if I get TikTok followers, I'll get rich, you know. They don't want to work. They just want to fuck off on their phone all day. That's the, that's the new, not American dream, that's the new... Millennial dream, or whatever you want to call it. For lack of a better word. You're right about that. Only a few make it big. You're right about that. Look at me. I've been goofing around on social media for three years. Yeah. I've really not gone anywhere with it. Yeah, you're right that they do have a chance. Which is kind of what America promises. You can if you come here you can at least have a chance. That's alright, you can be whatever you want, Akawi. Everybody's welcome here. Just don't hate people. No, I mean, Kyle Weiss has always been a friendly and a nice person in here. But I don't understand. I've never been a communist, so I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, doggies, here's your last bit of potatoes. I got potatoes. I got potatoes. Yeah, I don't feel the media really shows how it is in, uh, in really a lot of countries, you know what I mean? All the, everything in the media has an agenda, in my opinion. There's always an agenda. Communism or capitalism? You know, like capitalism? Well, I don't know. Me and my wife have worked all our lives. And we're trying to do better, you know. For ourselves. Yep, a lot of people don't get ahead. Right, that's what he's saying. Hmm. Well, there's people in America that are working on that, too. They're trying to do that universal basic income thing. 
I think he understands it, Bradley, but... Everybody's different. I can see his point. He doesn't want to have to worry about it, you know. As long as everything... As long as he gets to eat and live and survive every day, yeah, I can understand that. I don't know how that works. You guys know more about it than me. Yeah, those good jobs here in America. If you want to work uh, 12 hours a day, six days a week, you'd be making big money here in America. But then again, the bills are real high, too. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you don't have much to give, but you, ha you have enough. I, I see that, too. As long as you have enough to get by, and whatever's extra, you give away. I don't know. That's not so bizarre. I can see, understand his point of view. Are you ready to go outside, puppies? Man, I got dishes to do. Oh, shit. Shit and howdy. Yeah. As long as you, he's got his uh, breakfast and uh, he's happy. Want to go outside? No? All right, dogs. Oh, oh they want their cookie. <laughs> the dogs want their cookie. Let's go, puppies. Get a cookie. They gotta have their cookie after breakfast. Here you go. Here you go. Then they run their cookie over to where their favorite comfy spot is and chew their and eat up their cookie. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Cowie. As long as you get what you need, then you're happy. That's kind of like that Beatles song. If you try sometime. You get what you need. Can't always get what you want. I see what you're saying, dude. If you make a lot of money in capitalism, you can give it away. Which I try to do. I try to, I don't make a lot of money, but we do give to charity all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's one of our major things. We have to give away. I give away. Try to give away about 10% of what I make every year. And that's a Bible kind of thing. I just live by that golden rule kind of thing. Good morning, life in pain. How are you? Yeah, I don't know, man. See, these guys are discussing the pros and cons of communism, I believe. And I'm just kind of an innocent bystander because I really don't understand it. <laughs> But these guys are pros. They've lived there. <coughs> I guess you both must live there. Yes, good morning to you. Life, Life in Pain is a great streamer. He does all kinds of projects and stuff. So if you give him a follow, that'd be great. He like he has a nice workshop and does stuff. I like a... I don't know. I don't think Cowboys lives in America. I'm pretty sure he don't. <laughs> I don't think so. He's in, he's in Finland. Isn't that a uh, democratic, uh, democratic, capitalistic society? Yeah, they do have good money there. I think in Denmark. That's okay. <laughs> you get your point across. The phone did it. Yeah, I hear that. I've heard that. Finland, Denmark, Sweden, aren't all, they're all rich people over there, aren't they? Well, not all rich people, but... Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know all histories of countries and all that other shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oops. Man, this is cool. I love having a coffee talk in the morning. That's kind of interesting. So you don't focus on the profits, you're saying, there in Finland. You're more... Uh...
Well, that's good, though. I mean, because, you know, getting to be aggressive never really would. I don't know. Unless you're at war <laughs> or in a, in a fight, <laughs> getting aggressive really <laughs> doesn't help anyone. All right? Man, there's so many cups that need to be washed this morning. Crazy. It's crazy. Why so many cups? Oh, man. You guys are going to have to excuse me, and maybe you can talk amongst yourselves for a minute. But I have to go to the restroom, but I'll be right back. Do you guys want to go outside or something? No? There's the doggy bed. I don't know if they're going to lay down or not, but I'll be right back. I have to go to the restroom.
Yeah, that's one of my, uh, that's how I got to be Junk Joe Daniels. I used to always pick up stuff on the side of the road, you know? Now that's terrible. The taxes here in America are really fucking bad. Taxes are really bad. That's kind of probably how I got to be Junk Joe Daniels. I would pick anything that I thought could be fixed, I would pick it up, bring it home, and try to fix it. Or if it was metal, I would try to scrap it, you know, or save it, recycle it. I'm a big proponent of recycling. You can't live on your own land. What the fuck, man? That's crazy. Wow. You have to pay a portion. That's crazy. You have to pay a portion of your uh, of the heat. I thought I like I looked at some engineers stuff. Oh my god, that's terrible. What about that guy, uh, the crazy guy that built this thing under his property? What's that guy's name? That YouTube guy? He seems to get all the permits. All right, oh, that sucks. Off the that would be great, man. I would love somewhere where I had some little water to hydropower or something, you know, maybe. Yeah, I saw some of that. A friend of mine I talked to in, in the UK. They live in, I guess, what you call it, council housing or whatever. I don't know. Man, all these cups, man. So many fucking cups. Taxes are bad here in America, too. They just added more taxes on top of taxes on top of taxes. That's, that's what's so stupid. We came here to live free and get away with taxes, get away from taxes, and we're probably want more taxes now than we've ever had. That's what they say, the taxes are for your own good, you know. <laughs> for your own good. I gotta see, I got all this recycling stuff. This is for my garden, eggshells and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna recycle this styrofoam if, if it has the, uh, yep, the code on it. 400 pounds a month. That sucks. <sighs> oh, my little train that is going down the track. Yeah, I'm just a guy who keeps my... Head down and moves forward, you know. I want to change things, but I try to do the think globally. Uh, well, here in America, we got my local place just recently. We used to do ones and twos only, but now recently they just added we can do all the numbers, one, three, you know. So that was just recently they let us take the styrofoams and recycle them. And we have to pay $15 a month for the can for them to come pick it up. So it's not free. We're paying to recycle. That's how, you know, world conscious we are. We're actually, like, where I, where I lived up north in Michigan, that sucks, man. I know I hear a lot about that. But my friend, I have another friend in there, lives in Yeoville. Somerset or something, and he says it's terrible and they can barely run the heat. Hey, I'm wearing <laughs> pajamas and warm clothes and two pairs of socks and a winter hat in the house, and my heat is still on and it's still chilly in here. So I know what you're saying, bro. I'm right there.
use them. If I was cooking meth, I might have money. <laughs> I wouldn't have a brain, that's for sure. I could be like Walter White, huh? World War typical was spending 250 pounds a month. That's a yeah, right? There you go. This guy is a, a England guy, UK guy, licks it. 50, holy shit. Yeah, I believe it. And but why? I don't understand it. I think it's mostly engineered. They want it that way. I don't think it's you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. I feel they're making us fucking us just because they can. I don't believe it's a if you know what I'm saying. They're fucking us just because they can. And they can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Yeah, there's no... Just like here in America, you know, they, oh, they complain and complain. And then all these... All these... Uh, say, oh, we want $15 an hour. We got it $15 an hour. We got it $15 an hour. And now most everybody's paying $15 an hour, $20 an hour or more. So everybody... The prices just have doubled and tripled on everything. So your $15 an hour is shit now. If you just shut the fuck up and been happy with your $10, $12 an hour, we'd all still be good. But because you made the companies, you know, pay you more, they just jacked up their prices through the fucking roof, you know, to make the difference up. Yeah. I don't understand how Russia can just go over there and go, oh, hey, you know what? This land, it's ours. Yeah, I don't understand the economy. All right, MPG, we got another country heard from. The economy is bullshit. How is it three years ago I could pay 99 cents for gas, and today I have to pay $3, $4 for gas, and $5 for a dozen eggs that I fucking three years ago... I was paying 99 cents for them, too. That's bullshit. You can't tell me that that's necessary. It's not necessary. It's bullshit. I don't believe it for a minute. But I love to have a, a point of view. Yeah, that's crazy. Three years ago, we were mostly getting all the fuel from here locally. But then they changed the laws when the new president got in charge, and now we're not, we're importing all our fuel. Yeah. But to me, I feel that what I said is correct. If you made all the employers are paying more money out they want more money back so they're just going to raise the prices on everything just to get back that money they're paying you 15 dollars an hour or more they want that money back yeah it's corporations out here are making good money you're right about that My wife's coming to get her breakfast. Yeah, it's sad, ain't it? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I just want everybody to be friends and live in peace and harmony, but that's too simplistic, isn't it? Yeah, it's terrible right now, isn't it? That yeah, fuel is crazy. Oh, that's terrible. Well, then they have to move, go somewhere else, I guess, right? I, 
don't make sense, though. I mean, you have to pay what it's worth no matter what. I mean, there's no way around it, you know. I mean, well, if they, if, if they don't pay your price, who are, where will they go if you're not charging more? There's someone out there that will give them the same stuff for the same price. Oh yeah, there's always somebody out there, right? Yeah, I've had that problem back and I used to have a service business back in the day, cutting lawns. If somebody saw somebody come by and go, oh, he's doing it for $20, I'll do it for $19. And then they'd go with them. They'll switch for a dollar, which don't seem to make sense. Well, good luck, man. I hope... Things change. I don't know what things will ever change in this world right now. Would ending the war in Ukraine make a difference? Yeah, right. I guess a lot of your fuel and uh, the heating gas comes from Russia over there. And if you don't get it from Russia, then you got to get it from Saudi Arabia, right? They can pretty much charge any price they fucking want. Man, this part here. Yeah, yeah, I heard that they raised up natural gas. We have a lot here in America of our own, so we don't think we really import any natural gas really that's we've got lots of that here but they're still raising the prices on it it's like whoa we might as well everyone's jumping on a bandwagon yeah i feel you it's like oh they're raising the prices let's all raise the prices well, why not? I don't understand economy. I understand I'm getting screwed. Yeah, I believe it too. I believe it's bullshit. And it's, uh, it's all bullshit. Scrubbing my pan. Yeah. Get a little bit of comment on it. <laughs> Isn't this great? Just chilling, doing some dishes. <laughs> Anyway, I guess I'll go see how bad the door is. If it's really bad, I guess I'll just take the damn thing off and leave it off till spring or summer. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I've... Right? Yeah, I've seen something about uh, diesel heaters. You just, I seen something on a, a video the other day about it uses very small amount of fuel, but still, but you can use it as a heater, you know, using diesel fuel. I don't know how they work, but I've got like a, a heater that takes kerosene or fuel or gasoline or anything. A blowing air heater, yeah, yeah. It's probably kind of like what I got. Oh, wow, really? I figured I'd say, so I'll go see how bad it is. Maybe it's just the glass is broken or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if it's too bashed up and busted, I'll just take the fucking thing off. If you want one, you buy it. 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that uh, uh, she should have made sure it was closed. Well, it was windy. Yeah, we had some wind. Uh, I can understand that. We have a rental house and the screen door is broken, so I have to go inspect it and see how bad it is. The outdoor storm door, they call it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, screen door, storm door. She says, our tenant says she was gone all weekend, came home Monday morning and it's busted up. And I'm like, well, geez, maybe you should have closed. Yeah, it's an American thing, I think. But it's nice in the summertime, you can open the big door and then the screen door has a screen in it and you can let fresh air into the room, you know. The upstairs doesn't have a damn screen door, so... Some houses have them, some don't. Not all houses have screen doors. No. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the file though, Lixa. Yeah, I printed them all. Was it three or four paper things? I did three of them. Three sets? I better check if the, uh, sometimes when you follow me, the dogs start barking, so I gotta check if it's not, the dogs ain't barking. Oh, not yet, huh? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Lixa. Welcome to the junkyard. Uh, let me see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I got them all right here. Do you need them now or later? I don't know when I need them. Well, there they are. <laughs> oh, you good girl. There's a dog barking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, which one is that? We don't like to see our paperwork. Actually, which one? I need two copies of everything. Really? Yeah. All one's right. going to be his and one's going to be mine. All right. Two copies of everything. There we go. So hey, one more copy of those. Hey, you good girl. Oh, look at puppy dogs. Everybody, look what I'm loving. Look at your pretty. Yeah. That was the doggies barking. <laughs> Here's my crazy setup here. I need to clean it up. <laughs> Those are dachshunds. That's a dachshund. Yeah, he's a dachshund. She wants to go outside. You go outside. All right. Let's go outside. Yeah. Ooh. Supposed to get in the 30s today. Hopefully, most of the snow is gonna melt in the next day or two. Ah, it's cold. It's supposed to be 50 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Our dog, I don't know, they kind of like it. Our one dog went out yesterday and she, we turned around and looked, she was all covered in snow. She'd been running and jumping and playing in the snow. She liked it. But the other dog is like, she don't really like to go out there in the cold. So it's just an attitude. Some dogs like it, some don't, just like people. All right, one more copy. One more copy. Here's my coffee. They hate the wet more than they hate the cold, honestly. Getting too old. Yeah, I don't like as much anymore. I used to used to like it better. Yeah, like when I used to live up north in Michigan, I used to love the winter time because it was easy money. Snow and shoveling snow make big money. Do one driveway, take 15 or 20 minutes and make 40 bucks. You'd be making 80, 100 dollars an hour just moving snow. 
I gotta make it. Print everything again. Here we go. I'm riding a little train that is riding down the track to the junk yard. And you're printing that one. <coughs> Close that one. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Uh oh, there she goes. Heard these, you heard her buddy barking. Now she's like, I gotta go out there too. All right, I'm coming. Uh, she says, oh, there's barking. I must go see what's barking at. And she's uh, way out there in the snow. There you are. You having fun? You go, girl. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. ruff. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, close that one. And there's the third one. Yeah, really, yeah, we don't get a lot of snow. This is odd, really. Usually once or twice a year we'll get some. A lot when we first came out. Yeah, 25 years ago we used to get lots of snow. Not anymore. But that's global warming. That's climate change. It's not global warming. It's climate change. Tons and tons of CO2 we're putting in the atmosphere, but millions and millions of tons. I'm changing this camera. I'm shutting this camera off. Let's go back to the other camera. The face cam. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... I may take you all with me to... Uh, a lot of times I run... I would have to switch to my mobile stream and then go down the road and see what kind of situation this door is in. Cause that's kind of what I used to do on Twitch all the time. Oh yeah, all this shit on there, yeah. I cleaned it off every now and then. I see it, yeah. Yeah, I don't really pay attention. It's mostly games and folders and stuff. But you know. Yeah, it's a messy desktop. <laughs> right about that yeah you're right about that are you done every now and then I'll just sweep them all into a, a folder and yeah I can fix it for you there you go ta -da! they're gone <laughs> is that better <laughs> Shut off the desktop icons. <laughs> you have fun? Yay! Oh my goodness, she goes, you ain't kept me out of that room today. She's yeah, already she's up, up there. Like, she's like, hey, let's, go let's go play, mommy. Let's go play, mommy. I've been playing a lot of, I was playing a Dark and Darker all weekend. That was a fucking amazing game. I love that game. And then uh, I've been doing Valheim. I like, uh, Survival. Dark and Darker is a new game coming out at the end of next year. And it's like a a dungeon type thing. And it's a PvP V E game. And it's pretty cool. It was it was on free play all weekend. It's not on anymore. I guess you could I could find a thing on YouTube to show you what it's about. Uh, go to YouTube. Uh, dark and darker. Turn my camera on. 
Ready or not? Oh yeah, I have seen that game. It's dark and darker is a game that doesn't really have a finding a horror go. Dark and darker gameplay impressions. Oh, Conrad plays dark and darker. There's six different classes. But, uh, it's really good. I don't know how to explain it, really. Penguins? Oh, the dog wants to come in. I gotta let him out. Let the dog in. Come on in, puppy dog. Yeah. You too, uh, ready or not, on Steam. Let me see where's my Steam. Ready or not. I've heard about it. I'm trying to remember. There it is, 30 bucks, ready or not. Oh, that's the uh, police thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The SWAT thing. I've watched a few streamers play that. It's like the SWAT game. I'm not good at games like that. Mostly because I don't have friends. <laughs> but Dark and Darker was way cool because of the fact that it was a free play test. I'm sure they're going to play for it, pay for it, but uh, it's on Steam also. But uh, what I liked about it was like, let me see, can I get it bigger? Like you're in a dungeon all by yourself, and or you can play with up to two friends, and you have to escape the fucking dungeon. And if you don't escape the dungeon, everything in you you have you get, you lose. But if you can escape, you can collect collect your stuff and try to build up, you know, stuff and get better gear. But basically, if you die in the dungeon, you lose everything that you're carrying, you're wearing everything. And it goes to whoever gets it, you know, or whoever can pick it up and get it out of the dungeon. So it's pretty neat. It says it's an unforgiving, hardcore, first-person fantasy dungeon adventure. So basically, it's a hell of a lot of fun. I'll tell you that much. I don't know what to remind you of. But you can look it up on Twitch or YouTube. There's lots of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Unstoppable solo by them. Oh, yeah. Oblivion, yeah. Actually, I did, too. I just started Skyrim again. In fact, I just was playing it. I just started it. Actually, I'd never played Skyrim. I, well, I played the other games, you know what I mean? Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. That's what I just started playing. But I have played Oblivion. That I played... I liked Oblivion. And then No Man's Sky. That's another one I've got lots of hours in. No Man's Sky. Oblivion is better. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But I already play. Uh, Valheim right now is my go-to game. I really love the. Uh, I love the building. You know, just the, the building you can do in Valheim. Yeah, yeah. Valheim is my game. 830 hours in Valheim. 830 hours. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm a real boy. Can you just tell by my beard? <laughs> it should be braided, but I'm not good at braiding. I just love the building and the survival, really. I've got lots of worlds and lots of games. This is the one I'm currently working on. I had a public server for about three months, and a few people played with me, but eh, I really didn't have the money. To be. I'm thinking in the new year I'm going to start another server and have it publicly available for people that want to play on it. Yeah, because you can just step back. If you're playing with other people, the game never pauses, but if you're playing by yourself, you can pause. Yeah, well, for this, like, here's my little cabin. 
you know, I like we had to we got to build a Christmas tree and have presents under the tree and stuff. And you have a you know beds and a workshop area, you know. Camp and uh, uh, here's my cooking area, and all my food and spice rack. And these are portals that let you travel to other places if you set them up. I just like the building, you know, like, see, like, I can build a cool building like that. To me, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like the building, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's probably warmer than my house, too. You know, tanning, right? All this stuff works together to, uh... And you can tame animals and have domesticated animals. I need to check on my... I have a pet in here. Where is it? There he is. How you doing? There's a boar. It's hard to see him. It's dark in here right now. I can put a torch up, maybe. Right, here we go. Put a torch in here for the yeah, light. There we go. Yeah, right? You can't do that. And I left him some food as a turnip. Uh, I don't want the turnip. There you go. There you go. Oh. And you can tame animals and shit. Give them a light. Yep, yep. Then you can garden here. I'm gardening here. Garden, bees, everything. I don't know if you ever played this game, but I like it. And, and the, the other world I played on, uh, my friend built a huge fortress that's amazing. But uh, that's on a different server. Yeah, here's like, I can go to, uh, uh, you can, that's not massive. You can have 10 friends, up to 10 friends play with you, so it's not massive. It is multiplayer online. You can play just locally on your computer if you want. Like this is another one I'm building. See, here's my boat. You can have a long ship and you travel. See, the map is huge, really. Like, see, this is a. This is all of the world I've seen right here where they shows it, but the map, map is that big. Yeah, you can get on the boat and sail. Mm -hmm. But that's the whole map. No, it's not fast travel. It's you have to sail. You know, there's no fast traveling at all. You have to travel everywhere, on foot or on a boat. That's your only choices. This sailing is pretty good. Once you get on it, here I can show you. Once you get on the boat, you get at the rudder. And then it, on the side there, it shows you a little thing. I got the wind at my my, my uh, tail right now. You can see the wind blowing on that little graph behind me. So you can just... I want to park the boat, actually, so. Yeah, you got, like, so you have one sail, and then that's full sail. And there's fishing and everything. And then there's sea monsters and all this shit, man. It's a... Hey, for 20 bucks, it's a hell of a game. I think it's about 20 bucks. The water is amazing. I mean, look at that water. <laughs> oh, 10 pounds. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal for this game because there's hours and hundreds and hundreds of hours of uh, stuff in this game. Yeah, for 10 pounds, yeah. If you like survival, uh, this is a great game, man. Oops. And this is what I'm building right now. This is like an outpost, and there's like, there's five different biomes. This is this, the plains biome. There's very dangerous creatures out here that kick my ass. Yeah, you can build huge structures. <laughs> no doubt about it. You can build pretty good. Here's one I'm building right now. I'm still working on this one. 
but you can get very creative with the stuff like you know you can go in there and you have uh, stuff like this fire bonfires wood piles uh, and all kinds of fences and coin, piles of coins and there's all types of crafting equipment to build there's a cooking stations cauldron spice rack workbench chopping block tanning rack and each one has is uh, upgrades the type of gear you can make and then there's all the building pieces you can build with stone iron wood all kinds of junk and there's different furniture storage chests and seats and thrones and beds and banners and junk like that so yeah there's, that's one of the biggest things i like about this is the, the building you can get very creative with your building you can even make roads and stuff like I was making a road over here but then I decided I didn't need the road because it was going to somewhere I didn't want to go well yeah the, the beds and stuff make your home more comfortable and then you get a rested bonus there's a reason yeah it does it does have a, a use and you see like those creatures over there see them big things over there I'm trying to build a wall around them and then that'll tame them, you know. And when they're tamed, I can, they'll, they'll reproduce and then I can start harvesting them for their fur and meat. But right now they're mean and will kick my ass. So right now, see that, there I'm building that stone wall. I'm gonna try and build a compound all around. They're called locks. It's kind of like a buffalo or something. But they're very uh, angry, but they, Provide good meat and fur. <laughs> There's five biomes. There's uh, meadows, black forest, plains, mountains, and mistlands. Five biomes. And each one has different enemies and different uh, resources. And each one is a step above. Yeah, it's all, each one is all random, yeah. Every, it's kind of like a Minecraft type thing you know what I mean each when you start a game it's totally random now you can share that seed with other people and they can do it too but also like I say you can I could open this game up to a server type setting and then people could join me and play with me on my my map but uh, this one I'm just doing for myself really but there's a thing in a I was on a, I was paying 11 bucks a month for a server, which was run on a different computer, and uh, that was a good deal, really. Up to 10 people could play, and it ran 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so if people weren't, you know, like people that weren't on my same time zone could jump in and play, but I didn't feel like paying for it, so I shut it down. And everything has to be repaired, too, and it also works on, like, a, like everything has to have a foundation. You can't just randomly stack shit up. If you look at a piece, you see it shows green when I look at it with my construction hammer. That means it's supported well. If things aren't supported, like see them yellow ones, they have less support. And the red ones there are not hardly supported at all. So if I go much higher than there, it may collapse. So you have to find a different way to build it. Yeah, where the, uh, yeah, you have to keep them, uh, you have to have a support system for everything. It has to be, you know, what do you mean? Uh, it has to be grounded. It has to have a foundation. Everything has to have a foundation. And if things decay over time, as you can see, I'm, like if I point at something, it has a meter on it, like the yellow meter. That means it's all repaired, you know. Like that, see the meter's halfway and I have to repair it. Otherwise, if you stay too long, it'll deteriorate. But right now, I really need to go hunting. I need meat and food. I need some food. So I have to go to another area and try to find some food. 
Some areas have more meat and more food than others. Well, thank you so much for hanging out, Lexa. Thank you for your follow. Hopefully to see you soon. And uh, anytime, you're always welcome. I love the, the chat and the interesting stuff. I like, uh, I wish I could understand more about politics. You too, have a good day. Goodbye to you. Have a good day. You know. Hope to see you later, buddy. Uh, Wednesdays, we have darts and friend. my friends come over and we play darts at 1 p.m. Central, which is like 7 p.m. Gent Greenwich Mean Time. Fridays, we do karaoke, me and my wife. Everyone's always welcome. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to run out and uh, go look at this damn... Look at this damn screen door. I got to go fix a screen door. Or see what's wrong with it. So I have to take some screw dry, screw guns, screw, some big screws, and try and fix this door. I hope I didn't totally bust up shit. So that's what I'm gonna have to do, man. It's a little crooked. I gotta fix this Christmas tree. A little crazy. Yeah, I stacked up a bunch of Christmas trees. There's like seven Christmas trees here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I was hoping they would fill my boxes with presents. <laughs> you too, man. It was nice for everybody to hang out. I thought you all got along together. Were you all getting along together? got six subscribers holy shit that's amazing wow i love this game man it's a lot of fun guess i gotta put my pants on gotta put my pants on and then go uh check this place out man I'm gonna do. I can either take you guys with me or I need to put in some rugs over here. That's what we need. We need some rugs. Deer rug is for deer hide. Lox rug is for lox bill. You can put a couple of deer rugs down. Yeah, I got some down here. Yeah, I can make four deer rugs. Put one here. One here. That makes my comfort go way up. Fire a rug in front of the fireplace, cooking area. Put another one here, I guess. I put one by my bed, I guess. You want to have a deer rug by your bed, right? You put your feet down when you get up in the morning. What is that? You're still only comfort seven. I only cranked it up once more. What else can I put up there that'll make me. Uh, More furniture as I need. Stool. Need a table. More fine wood now. Where's the fine wood at? Don't have any over here. There's seven wood. Let's put a table over here. It would just clog the place up, but whatever. And now my comfort's eight. Seven. A 
a deer stew and a sausage. I need more sausage. I need more boar meat to make sausage. Fuck. I made this road. And planted a lot of these fucking trees, too. Looking for boar and deer. There's a boar down there. I need to get where I got a mating pair of boars, really. Uh, that's what I really need to do, is get one to follow me and make an opening so I can follow them and they'll be together. Ooh, berries. Raspberry. 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 And these, I planted all these birch trees here. Looking for deer. There's probably some deer around here somewhere. Hey, deer and boar. I'm hunting deer. Wait, I hear one. Somebody's here. Be right back. Pizza for breakfast. Hey, would you ever? Where's the fucking deer at? I can hear them, but I'm not seeing them. What was that one right there? There's one right there. Fuck.
getting to be nighttime, and I got one deer, man. Fuck. Sucks. You sleep in fit in fretful dreams and wait the nightmare heavy as the morning comes, you greet it with relief. Resting Resting Uh gonna take some eyes to go prancing. Deer at. I need a deer. I don't want to starve. I hear it. There's a boar over there. I have no room for boar meat though. around a stone or something and throw that down that down and get a boar Switch to my other house back again. The deer at deer and blueberries are really important right now. I need deer and blueberries to make deer stew.
I'm close. Where is it? There. Sometimes there'll be more than one. There's usually one or two in a group. There's usually two in a group. There's a long shot. See if I can kill this guy from around the hill. I hear another deer. Ah, he's right over his head. He dead. He dead. Hmm.
would say that. I didn't want to hey, do the bore me. I don't want to do it. Why is it always do the bore me first? It pisses me off. Entry has bore me. I guess I'm gonna switch to the uh, stream camera and I'm gonna go to Streamlabs. And uh, I got a quick errand to run, so I'll be back in a little bit. So that's the, uh, that's what's happening happening I have to go check on a broken screen door if it's in bad shape I'm gonna take it down so, if y'all hang around I'm gonna swap to uh, 
the mobile screen on my phone. If not, well, have a good one. I guess I could go raid somebody and then uh, turn my stream back on. Let's see who's on. Let's see who's on. I really hate well, when I go to Twitch that they make me watch somebody and I like it to be not playing. I don't want a video to automatically play when I go to Twitch. In fact, on my other computer, when I go to Twitch, it doesn't automatically play. So I don't know what setting does that or what. Papa Shoot, Lady Frenzy. SEC girl, three mallards and a sweet girl. I don't know who's beat. Crazy Esco is playing Conan Exiles. That's a good, he's a, he's a cool dude. We'll go raid him. How about I mute your commercial Twitch because you suck. And I'm not even going to watch your commercial Twitch because you suck. Suck, man. I hate you, Twitch. Ooh. I'll be back. Let's go raid crazy Esco. Exco. Because he's awesome. Ja, die Bücher und so habe ich schon gelesen, die hier sind. Have fun at Crazy Esco's. I'll be back in a little while. Love you guys. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's not time to go. I'm going to go work on a a door see what the fuck is going on with that door and i'll put you on stream for that so we'll see y'all hey. hoi, hoi, hoi. audio see y'all in a little while this afternoon for sure if i don't see you on my uh, mobile stream where we go check out what's wrong with this door much love bye bye